Roxanne. Today we're going to take a look at an older deck. It's called the Illuminati Tarot. Keys of Secret Societies. And it's by Casey... I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Let me see. Du Hamel. Illustrated by Bob Gravenston. Sorry, I couldn't read it through the camera frame, so I had to bring it closer to me. It's in this rectangular hard case box. Here's the side, the back, and it's a pretty old deck. It's published by Schiffer Publishing, um, but it's different and unique, and there's not too many uh, walkthrough or reviews on this, so I thought I'll share it with you guys. It is a pip deck, so if you are if you don't like pip decks, it may not interest you. Um, and I'm not a big pip deck person either, but I like the uh, Major Arcana. But anyway, it has ribbons, it opens up, and here is a picture of the author and illustrator. It does come with a very nice large size guidebook and it's glossy pages glossy pages and we'll take take a look more of the guidebook at the end but let me see really quick does it say when it was published 2017 glossy pages so it's been out what 17 18 19 21 22 so about five years here's the thickness all right so it comes and the cars are um divided it up and it's kind of hard i mean there's thumb hole here but it's hard so i just take this whole thing out so i can grab it and then same on this side All right, so this is just paper cardboard. All right, so that is the box. And here are the backs. It is reversible. Very classic looking back design. Cars are not gilded, no gilding. And they are plasticky feeling, so they're laminated. And they are a little larger than the traditional pad back. So a smidge taller, um, but it is wider. So lengthwise, pretty close, just a little, and then wider. So they are larger cards. Not by much, though. All right. So let me put that back and let's take a look at the cards. So it's going to go by fast because as I said there, the minors are pip, but I really like the major, so that's one of the reasons why I got it. So let's zoom in. And oh, card stock. It's pretty, uh, it's, I would say medium. And there's this laminate sheen on them. Like I said, it feels more plasticky. All right, so the fool, you just saw the fool. The magician, sorry, the cards are thicker than the stand or more than the stand. All right, there's that infinity symbol up there. That's nice. The high priestess, there's a lot of symbols in this stack. The Empress. Emperor. Hierophant. The Lovers. It's more Marseille style lover with three people in it. The Chariot. Justice. The Hermit. Oh, that's a beautiful Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of symbolism in, in this. I like it. It's been a while since I had opened it. I've just been busy, so I haven't done a walk walkthrough in over a week, which is kind of long for me. Strength. The Hanged Man. 
death, temperance, the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world. All right, so that completes the major arcana. Now moving on to the minor arcanas, we start with the suit of cups with ace of cups, two of cups. So as I mentioned, this is more pippish, so there's not much illustration or photos on it. Three of cups. But I got it, like I said, mostly for the major arcana because they're so nice. Um, four of cups. Five of Cups. So I'm going to move a little faster on these Six of Cups because there's not much to them. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. The Novice of Cups. So the, uh, the court cards have been renamed. The pages are Novice, which makes sense, right? A, a Novice as something. Uh, knight is initiate, init, initiate, so initiate of cups is or traditionally knight of cups, adept of cups is traditionally queen, and then mage of cups is traditionally king. Next is the suit of wands with ace of wands, two of wands, Three of Wands, see, so there's not much to them. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Novice of Wands, Initiate of Wands, Adept of Wands, Mage of Wands. So next suit is of Coins. We have Ace of Coins, Two of Coins, Three of Coins, Four of Coins, Five of Coins, Six of coins, seven of coins, eight of coins, nine of coins, ten of coins, novice of coins, adept of coins, mage of coins. Next suit is swords with ace of swords. Two of Swords, Three of Swords, that's kind of traditional. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords. So the Swords seems to have more illustration in them or symbolism. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Novice of Swords, Initiate of Swords, Adept of Swords, and Madge of Swords. Looks powerful. Here in the backs one more time. And let's zoom out and we'll take a look at the guidebook really quick. So. Zoom back out. All right. Glossy pages, as I mentioned.
For my father, the oldest secret I know, Casey Duhamel. Contents, and then it's broken down to minor arcanas and the suits. So it's easy to look up a card. What does that say? Tripping the Royal Road. So Arabic origin, so they explain different things. Within these hallow halls, the knights flee the cards, the pip cards. So they break it down for you. Water, earth, fire, air. Attributes. Neat little chart. Helpful. Cups, feminine, dis, feminine, autumn. Oh, so it tells you the season. So cups is considered winters. Feminine, dis is considered autumn, feminine. Wands is summer and swords are spring. The court cards. So this is very informative. The major arcana, they go through that. The priority of Scion. And then going... Go, oh, that's a pretty picture. Goes into the major arcana. So the major arcana, there's the picture of the card, color picture of the card. And then like a phrase, verse, meaning. It has the archangel, Kabbalah, element, Hebrew. So let's see the minors. Here's the pips. So the pips are also color in color. But uh, not as large, and there's two to a page. Very nice, though. Pips. All right, so that gives you an idea of the guidebook. 176 pages total. All right, so as usual, I will put the link uh, in the description for the Illuminati row. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy that and I will catch you again in the next video. Bye!